Hey y'all, hopefully the noise in the background isn't too bad. They're doing like construction or something. As you guys know, I love to make videos on my lunch break or on my 15 minute breaks at work. So that's what I'm doing today. And as you guys can see, the topic is creating your own website. <laughs> I know y'all been asking me to do this. And previously I was like, no, it's too complex. It's too difficult. I can't explain it. Like, I just don't see how I'm going to explain it. But so many people kept asking me and I realized, okay, people really want to know how to build a website. And even though it's very complex, if I can just break it down into a series of videos, then maybe that's doable and it is so that's why i'm here today all right so this first video is going to be very simple it's just going to be like an intro type of video into building your own website okay so this is pretty much like the basics now it's really two different ways that you can go about creating your website the first option is to contact someone who is a web designer so having someone design the website for you most of y'all watching this video that's not the option that you want because you want to be able to create it yourself now there are perks to having someone else create a website for you number one perk is going to look extremely professional it's going to save you a ton of time because creating your own website takes a lot of time you guys so you know that's like the pros of having someone else do it because they're fat they're professional they already are gifted in that area they know exactly what to do so it's easier it's quicker the website can be up in a quicker amount of time or whatever um but it's usually expensive and we ain't trying to do that we're trying to start businesses so we want to be able to save our money we want to be able to utilize the resources that we have available to us and all of that good stuff so that's the first option the second way is why y'all watching the video now being able to create your own website through a web hosting site what is a web hosting site a web hosting site is pretty much a website that allows you to create a website through them okay hopefully that makes sense so it's I'm gonna put up the definition somewhere that I find on Google, maybe something simpler. <laughs> it's a website that you're using that gives you all of the tools you need to create your own website. They make it easy for you, as easy as pretty much you filling in the blanks, okay? They create the website for you, you just fill in the blanks, all right? Now, a couple of these websites that I'm familiar with, I'm just gonna name out a few. A few of these are probably websites you have heard. All right, now it's a helicopter coming. Y'all, I pretty much work in a hospital or next to a hospital, so it's always a lot going on out here. So once again, hopefully the background isn't too noisy. I'm trying to talk louder so you guys can hear me clear. Um, so a few examples of web hosting websites that I'm familiar with and probably some websites you've heard of. Um, I have Big Cartel, I have Wix.com, Weebly, Squarespace, which is my favorite, Shopify, um, yeah, and those are the ones I've heard of, but of course there are many more. To find these websites, you just do a simple Google search create my own website or how to build your own website do a google search and a, probably a hundred more web hosting websites will pop up before we can move on to the second part of this series these are some things you are going to need to do before we can go to the second part of the series okay are y'all following y'all are going to need to do this do it tonight do it two days from now i don't know because i'm dropping part two very soon and i want y'all to be able to keep up with me we're all gonna have our websites up before the new year so make sure y'all follow these steps these are things that you must have before you start creating your website okay number one you need an email address most of y'all have email addresses 
hey, it's 20, it's about to be 2019. If you don't have an email address, you you very, very far behind. But go ahead, make sure you have an email address. Maybe you want to create a new email address for your company, maybe something more professional. So go ahead and create a Gmail. Gmail accounts are the most professional accounts in the business world. Um, if you're looking to have a free email account. So go ahead and create a um an email address, your company name at gmail.com. That's very free to set up all that good stuff okay second you need to research some color schemes okay if you already have a logo you probably already know what your color scheme for your website your company is going to be because all of it have to be connected your logo your graphics your website all of it have to be the same color scheme so go ahead and you can google search color schemes they have a ton of color schemes that you can choose from colors that go together and mesh well you can find those all through google.com and look at the image tab or whatever and you can scroll through a whole bunch of color schemes um i say stick to a color scheme that's very simple that has three to five colors keep it simple okay we don't need to see the whole rainbow of colors on your website that's just too much keep it simple three is probably the best three colors is probably the best but i would only go up to five colors for your color scheme three you're gonna need graphics okay you are going to need graphics you can create your own graphics um through websites um not websites but apps like canva c-a-v-a c-a-n-v-a i can't spell you can um have someone make graphics for you starting at five dollars at fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com um you're gonna need graphics so these are the pictures that everyone's gonna see when they come on your website. So it could be like professional photos you probably have taken from a photo shoot. It can be stock photos. Just any type of pictures or graphics that you want on your website. Make sure you already have those saved to your computer. Make sure you have them ready, okay? Secondly, you need to have all of the written stuff that's gonna be on your website already written down. Put it in a notepad, put it, I know a train ain't coming y'all I don't know if the world wants me to put up this video do y'all want me to put up this video <laughs> all this stuff is going on today construction airplanes now a train let me hurry up and finish this video <laughs> so you want to have all of your written stuff jot it down in the word document on your phone in the note section something that's going to make it simple and easy for you to copy and paste over these written items you need to have down you need to have your prices go ahead and create your price list so when it's time to input your products on your website you already have prices set go ahead and write out your product descriptions for all of the products that you're going to sell on your website go ahead and create your policy page okay Write down all of your policies, your shipping policies, your return policies, all of the policies, all of the written words and all of that stuff that you're gonna have on your website. Go ahead and have it set up in a Word document or written out somewhere that's easy for you to access when it's time to move all of that information over to your website, okay? So that is the homework that I have for y'all to do. Make sure you do those few things because you're gonna need it when it's time to go to the second step to start building your website. So like I said, this is pretty much a introductory type of video to building your website. Please like this video. I need about 200 likes on this video for me to make the second part of this series, okay? I wanna make sure y'all actually interested. Like I said, it's a very complex and detailed topic, so I don't wanna waste my time to make it even though I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna waste my time because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get those 200 likes on this video but I don't want to waste my time to make a video and nobody wants to watch it okay so let me know make sure y'all are subscribed okay I have too many people watching these videos now my first video is almost at a hundred thousand and people are asking me questions every day not realizing I have the answers to those questions already in other videos on my page so make sure you're subscribed so you can always keep up with the videos on my page 
make sure your notification bells are on because I'm gonna start dropping videos more often and you want to be the first to hear about these videos, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate y'all.